right, y'all? So as you can see, I'm in the middle of the Arizona desert. About like an hour out of Phoenix. And uh, about to go on this run, man. I actually don't really have service, so you can't really see the temperature or anything. But last I checked, when I was back in civilization, it was 103 degrees. Um, what's up? Honestly, I'm from Miami, man. It's my first time here. This is wild, huh? Yeah, this is wild. Uh, like I was saying, it's looking at around 103 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And to be honest with you, man, I don't know how far this one's about to be. I got to make it to uh, Cigarro Lake. And um, I don't know, man. Hey, but let's enjoy the scenery. Let's get after it. Come on. I go on runs, particularly the treacherous runs. I always, I always think about the haters, you know? Not that it drives me, because my philosophy is you need to be self-driven. You need to be internally motivated, not externally. That's the only way these things last. But it is good to think about the external sometimes. You just can't rely on them. You can't depend on them because they will break and they'll fail you. But like I said, I, on these runs, I just think about those haters, man. How you can leave comments and form your negative opinions and project them on the people that are actually getting after it. Don't get me wrong. There's definitely days where I'm slumped and I catch myself becoming weak, falling into that, that comfortable routine. But today's not one of those days. For those that leave negative comments, not just to me, but to anybody, 
Why not be constructive with it instead of destructive? What is what are the destructive comments gonna do for you? What inflate your ego? That's it. Come on, man. Why don't you get after it and push yourself? Alright y'all, so as you can see, here are the results from my run. I actually had to park the van elsewhere, about a three mile distance from Cigarro Lake. So I had to run from where I parked the van to Cigarro Lake. And then once I got to the lake, I had to hike the trail to get to the cliffs where everybody was chilling at. So the second run was a little bit further because it included the the trails and the cliff but um as you can see the it was a pretty decent elevation gain uh compared to what i'm used to out here in florida definitely uh those hills definitely left my calves just completely filled with lactic acid so um that was pretty pretty interesting but we got through it all in all it came out to about a six mile run, came out to 6.04 to be exact. And uh, it was just a good, you know, a good run, very different, super dry air. I was coughing up a lung, uh, just not what I'm used to. But that's what this is all about, getting out of your comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? 
and seeing how you react to being out of your comfort zone. So that's why I do these things. And it was a very, very interesting experience. So that's all I have for this video, y'all. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button, push the notification bell so you can get all my videos as soon as they come out. And just be on the lookout. I'm always doing random challenges, uh, a lot of running, but not just running, working out and uh, things of that nature. So like I said, that's all I have for this video. Dro out.